So, um, got the question here, I didn't actually ask it before, but how did you maintain your motivation in spite of the difficulties and challenges you faced? One of the things I learned in the men's work was a term we use, I need to show up. Mm. Just show up. Just show up. Yeah. Yeah. Just be. And there. make a commitment. Right. Right. Which I never was really good at. Yeah. Prior to that. Right. Recently. Relatively recently. Yeah. So if I just go to a group, if I just go to, just turn up, just yeah. do it. Just do it. Just do it. Show up. Yeah. So that's how you, that's how you maintain your motivation. Just well, that's how I learned to get motivation. That's how you learn to get motivation. Yeah. It's pretty new, having motivation. And doing something I love doing is very motivating. So what, by doing something regularly, that's how, how it... Uh, I think so. I think because of the, my ability to create a lot of chaos, uh, okay, I never I had see. regality. You know, right. never, any, nothing's ever regular. And I never grew up <clears throat> with any that sense of things being regular because it could become chaotic okay. very quickly. So that was a new kind of learning, really, for you, was to maintain your motivation, was was to just keep turning up on yes. a regular basis yeah. to something, yeah. and that actually helped. Yeah, and again, I didn't get caught back in, in inertia. Right. Right. Or isolation for another Yeah, one. well, an isolation feeds inertia. I yeah, believe, that's I right. Believe. Yeah, okay, great, okay. Um, now, I know you've gone on and you've, you've, you've now have recently completed a degree yep in do uh, you want to tell tell us a bachelor of counseling so bachelor of counseling mm -hmm. yep. and and you uh and you ended up uh and you went from what was it that we said before gary being stupid never amounting to anything yeah to uh kind of what age are you now i mean you recently were yep, i'm 61 and you finished it last year in February 2014. February 2014. I'm very specific about that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the last thing, the last word I had to type to finish off my last assignment. Woohoo! What was the Joy. word? What, what was the word? Uh, it was actually, well, I think it was a reference quote. Oh, okay. So it was it's nothing. Profound. Retrieve from a website. Yeah. yeah. Retrieve from, hmm, that was the so, last, okay. whatever that was. Because okay. I always did my reference list last. So, as they say in the classics, you've come a long way, baby. Yeah. So, from being stupid and a dumb fuck at school, which was your language, yeah, that's my you, language. Is that what you called but yourself. I was called that a few times. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, yeah. And to will never amount worse. to anything. Yeah. All of this old script. Yeah. You've, you've completely turned things turned, around yeah. to get your degree. 180. And what helped you go through this degree thing? Because um, that can't have been easy. Well, I shared before, I needed to bust the old belief system, the old monkey on my back or the demon on my shoulder yeah. that I am a dumb F. Yeah. So I spent time working on that. Yeah. I also took up uh, a martial art. Okay. Aikido. Right. Aikido, yeah. One is I, because of the rock and water training, it. so when I was 12, I was busted for shop 50. Mm -hmm. So after going to the children's court I needed to go to the PCYC yeah and I picked up boxing and judo mm -hmm. and I got a, a real interest in that I particularly liked the judo yeah, yeah yeah and I played around with a few martial arts yeah but the rock and water training and having worked with the originator of that program mm. um, seeing him he was a second or third dan black belt in Aikido yeah and the discipline he used, and, uh, I knew I wanted to do it. <clears throat> I wanted what he had. <laughs> yeah, you wanted what he had. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I picked that up at the same time. Yeah. Because I knew I was going to have to be the most disciplined I've been in my whole life. Ah, right. And that wasn't a natural place to be. At. No, not for a rebel. No, right. No. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. So you're joining the establishment almost. So that's a whole change. Well, and also, you know, I was. 50, nearly 55. Yeah, when you started. So I, I had, I needed to surrender to being a student. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again. Yeah. In both the martial art discipline. Yeah. And in my degree. Right. Right. So I you knew nothing. You, so you, did you begin the more, more or less at the same time? More or less at the same time. Right. Interesting. And did one support the other? Yeah. Totally. Really. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Yep. Mm. 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 
So what's happened with those beliefs now that being stupid, uh, that was so strong before, the not being able to control my temper, the I'll never amount to anything. I mean, what's happened with those now? Well, my basic, con you know, construct of myself, I'm a highly intelligent, <laughs> highly adaptive, deeply resilient, and compassionately loving man. Mm. And I feel safe here in my own skin, wow. in my own beingness. Wow. I know you're safe, and the vast majority of the people who is on the planet are safe. Right. And I actually even know that the planet, despite what the news may tell me, is quite a safe place. Mm. And I belong here. Yeah. Mm. So that's a huge shift to how it was yeah. a few years ago. Yeah. Quite a few years ago, mm. but nevertheless. I'm deeply and securely attached. <laughs> to what? To my internal working model of safety mm. and security. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And that's how I construct my life and my relationships from right. my inherent sense of safety. Okay, great. So you went from, uh, 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 as you said before at the very beginning, a really chaotic home life where there was no stable ground or very little. Yeah. To where you've really got this kind of almost a, a serenity about life. Yeah. Is that, I mean, without and also, words, you know, uh, I'm know, just trying uh, to clarify for people. Yeah. Deep sense of hope, hopefulness, not hopelessness. Yeah, okay. So everything's like 180 degrees yeah. change. Yeah. 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 Over time. And, and that's why I can say you know, that there is no trauma that doesn't have the potential to be resolved. There's no trauma that doesn't have the potential yeah. to be resolved. Mm. Mm. So explain that. Whatever I've been through, particularly in, in childhood yeah. and early you know, in, into adolescence, even, that may have been horrific, mm. um, completely extreme and adverse, mm. that there is an innate capacity to resolve that and to rewrite new beliefs and new scripts. Right. Right. Mm. So, and, and I know that because I have done that. I, I've witnessed hundreds of people do that. Right. Who so, even come from more extreme places than I. Yeah. So you could pretty much say for anybody that's watching this video, yeah. anybody that feels stuck, yep. that no matter what's happened, mm -hmm. yeah. that you can, if they do something, mm. if they make some positive interventions, that it's absolutely positive, possible for them to have the changes they want in their life yeah. if they keep at it. With, Definitely. With, yeah. So what's that phrase again? There is no trauma, no matter how extreme and horrific, that does not have the potential for resolution. Mm. So family rifts, yep. all kinds of things like abuse, that. Abuse. Abuse. Sexual abuse. Yeah. Um, torture even. You know, yeah. Growing up in a war zone. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Having seeing your parents killed in front of you. Yeah. yeah. And I've worked with people like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Having guns put in your mouth and at your head when you're three and four, wow. or to wow. to your mother's head, and oh, saying if man. you don't do this, your mother's dead now. Wow. Yeah. So all of that, all of that, has a potential for resolution, and I can back that up with research and neuroscience and a whole lot of work now. And the fact that you've done oh, it with many, and, many, and, yeah. and not just your own story, but you've also helped many, many yeah, and in I've similar also, situations. You know, not even helping them. Seeing, you know, when I was journeying myself, yeah, I yeah. saw many people right. resolve their trauma yeah. and move to a life of love, functionality, um, yeah. safety, and happiness. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. And that's what I wanted. You know, I'm, I'm so glad you you're able to say that yeah. and, and share that because Definitely. it is possible for anybody. Yeah, and yeah. I often will say, if I was able to do it, yeah, I believe anyone can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I mean that generally. I'm not yeah. not being flippant. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, mm. yeah. I've right. resisted that's for true. as long as I possibly could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. beautiful. Okay. Um, so um, I was just going to say. Um, what new personal characteristics? You've covered this a little bit, but what new personal characteristics have you learned or strengthened because of what you've been through? I definitely believe I'm a lot more compassionate. Oh, right, mm. right. And I'm, you know, I'm deep, deeply curious. Mm. And my curiosity is 
how that is for you or anyone else. You know? yeah. And um, <coughs> deeply non judgmental. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you enjoy that? I do enjoy that. Yeah. Because I never know anyone's backstory. Right. Right. And you could present as the most functional person on the planet. Yeah. Initially. And I, you know, there could be a massive backstory in there. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm curious about that. Yeah. So how, what? How do you get out of bed in the morning? Yeah. How do you not? How do you not go into a fetal position? Yeah. 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 Tell me more about that. Yeah. You know. So again, you know, the curious question is, I don't need to know what's wrong with someone. Mm. Could you please tell me what happened to you? Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm really curious about that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Cool. Um. So you. The, the, and also, you've learned personal characteristics about some of those other things you mentioned: the resilience, the, yeah. the post-traumatic growth, post-traumatic growth, um, connection, yes, um, creating relationships, mm. all that stuff. And to have fun. Good. Yeah. Have fun. Mm. Joy. Have some yeah, joy. 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 Yeah. 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 Happiness. Happiness. <laughs> How do you feel now? I do feel happy. Yeah. Mm. yeah, you look really happy. I love my life. I love getting up every morning. Yeah, yeah. I just jump, literally, jump out of bed. Cool. And that's a lot, 20 years ago, I couldn't get out of bed. Yeah. I would, and if I did, I'd just drop to the floor in the fetal position. Right. Yeah. So I acknowledge my journey from there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. And uh, maybe your journey can make a difference to other people's journey. Maybe. So hopefully, if we make a difference to one person, it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Just uh, at the end here, um, what single piece of advice could you give someone facing a similar challenge when you were way back then stuck? The world was a dark place, fearful place, dangerous place. Yep. What single piece of advice could you give someone who might be in a similar position right now? Pretty sure I said it before, but yes, it's I'm to, pretty sure it's to reach out to reach another, up. even just one more human being. Yeah, yeah, and let them know. Yeah, show that you know I don't know what to do here. Yeah, and what? Yeah, okay. Look, it's enough said. Yeah. As you say, um, is there anything else you'd like to say that could possibly make a difference for somebody that's watching this video? Probably not more than what I've said. No? Cool. Mm. Okay, mate. Thank you, Gary. Thanks, Elton. I pre appreciate it. Yeah. And we've done a second run through on this, so right. I Hopefully appreciate it. Hopefully the sound has worked. Oh, I, hope, I hope everything's worked, mate. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But appreciate your time. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs>